Welcome back. This past weekend was the annual Freedom Fund Banquet for the Dane County chapter of the NAACP. And the theme this year, thrive in the movement, in the culture, and in our community. And the idea of freedom and thriving has a context for what we're seeing right now by way of politics. The guest speaker for the event was the state's attorney general, Josh Call. But what does, what does this idea of freedom mean for the community? And I want to pose that question to our guest, Gregory Jones, the president of the NAACP chapter in Dane County. And thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Will, for having me. Great opportunity to talk about this past weekend's event. So I want to ask, is there a short answer to what this idea of freedom means? I think the word freedom in the short message is basically equal opportunity, equity for everyone, regardless of race, creed, or color. So very curious why you kind of bring this idea of uh, thriving for the movement, for the culture and the community for this year specifically. Anything specific to what we're seeing here and now? I think it's important to know that the Dane County branch is a affiliate of the national NAACP. The themes are determined at the national level by our national board, made up of 64 members from across the country. They sit down, deliberate, debate, and decide what the theme would be. The branches have a little flexibility to build on it. The chosen theme this year, in general, by the board was thriving together. Dane County uh, branch decided we were going to build on that. We were going to extract community, culture, and as you, as, you, as you heard earlier, we have a third time piece to it. So we think that what we did was build out the theme and then connect it to our speaker. So what kind of went into the calculus of like how you're going to build out? I mean, because it's way open-ended, right? There are ways to exactly. build that out. Yeah. That's exactly right, because the discussion we had at our branch level was driving together can, be, can have a negative input or a positive input. When you think about the issues we now face, are we really thriving? When you think about the opportunities and the passion and the progress, we've made some progress. So it kind of has some good and bad points. So by focusing it on community, culture, and the movement, it gives us an opportunity to really, really focus it in on, on something we can work toward. Absolutely. And so we often talk about these kind of amorphous policies. I mean, I'm the station's political reporter, so right. we talk about these kind of amorphous policies at the Capitol, um, understanding that the Attorney General talked about what we're seeing in terms of, uh, you know, voting rights and um, legislative districts and kind of how that applies. When we talk about some of these big issues, um, big themes for how the country, or especially in Dane County, uh, the state can kind of thrive and move forward, how do you break that down into something that, you know, we can just have a conversation with on a Sunday morning. I think what you do on that is you think about the component parts. You think about how those larger issues can be affected, how they can be drawn into on a local. Let me give you an example. If we think about voting rights, one of the things we're doing in Wisconsin here for this branch is we're looking at all of the previous legislation that's been introduced on voting rights. Some of it's suppressive, much of it's uh, deliberative, and it's going to be have a negative impact on the voting population. So we've been identifying those to identify what we or develop what we call a theme. For example, when you think about some of the proposed legislation over the last couple of years where they don't want drop boxes to be uh, available, that limits the opportunity for people to cast a vote. When you think about some of the legislation that's out there where they say, we don't want to see any individuals who are connected to a political organization or an advocacy organization connected to a poll worker. Well, we have an initiative where we're going to build out poll workers. We have a concerted effort to include po young people into the poll worker uh, training, implementation, and programming in Dane County. So that is something that we've talked about at the national level. How do we engage our people in different aspects of the electoral pro pro uh, process? People who have been touched by some of these issues, right, like gun violence, for example, mm -hmm. um, or I know um, it also touched on, uh, like, say, drinking water, nutrition, that kind of stuff as well. Right. Um, who kind of feel this angst and kind of don't know where to go with that. Where would you recommend they start? Well, I'll like tell you where the branches started. What we've done once that event happened is we've reached out to ourselves internally to say, what can we do individually, then what can we do as an organization? As an organization, we've got two projects going on as, a re as it relates to that. We want to identify on a broad basis the quantitative uh, numbers that uh, we've had these gun shootings in the last eight to 10 years for young folk. Uh, those individuals between 18 and 25, we're doing the best we can to get the data from the county, from the city, the health departments, the UW, everywhere we can get it and say, what is the profile? Because this is not new. 
then we want to say, how do we engage our families who are affected by those? So we're looking out to reach, to, to reach those individual families who are willing to share with us their life experience now after those events. My personal opinion on it is it's a traumatic uh, event and one that may or may not be um, uh, one that people may not want to talk about. But we have to find a way to say, how do we address it? That message has to come from the people in the community and in the, res the residents from those neighborhoods. We want to be one of the carriers to motivate people to get that message out there. And then I think what we have to do as an organization, a community organization, is be the conduit to develop the, pro to de develop the forums, to develop the conversation sites, and have those conversations going forward because this is something that is going to hurt this entire community unless we get our hands on it. And it's got to be a collaborative effort. I'm not saying we're the only ones. Our policymakers, our police departments, our, in, our educators, all of the units must come together on this very issue and offer some, uh, some suggestions to resolve it. Gregory Jones, thanks so much for joining us. No really problem. It. Enjoyed it. We'll Thank be you. right back after this.